Hello and welcome to Casual Veteran Gamer. In this Baldur's Gate 3 video today, we're going to be dealing with the Bulette, which you can encounter in a few places in the Underdark. I'm going to start the encounter here, which is just next to the secluded cove. Over there we can see the entrance to the Arcane Tower and oh, I can't look up, but this is where we can come down through the Hag's house. Also, before I started, I cleared out any of the torch stalk plants that were down here. And a little bit about the bullet before we go and slaughter it. So they have been known as land sharks. So they're quite a classic creature in Dungeons and Dragons. Been around since I think the first edition. They are wandering monsters and they range across basically almost anywhere underground. Only thing they need is food. They don't have any particular lair or anything. They will run around and walk around until the place is run, runs out of food. And should an area run out of food, they'll move on to somewhere else. Quite interestingly, all creatures shun bullets even other predators, even other bullets, and they will probably attack each other. The only time they naturally come together is to mate, which, and I quote, usually ends with the male's death and consumption. The last bit of interesting information I feel is that they are said to have been made as a result of a mad wizard. A mad wizard who has quote, been crossbreeding snapping turtles and armadillos with infusions of demon ichor. And since the young are pretty much don't ever get seen, it is thought that perhaps they have some nests deep, deep, deep underground. Anyway, let's go back to the bullet and see what we can do. Before I start the fight, I just want to show you my equipment. I have been down into Grimforge on this save file already. However, the only item from there might be the Sword of Screams. She also has the Grimskull Helm. She might not be getting into melee anyway. Got the Sapphire Spark here. The only person who's really decked out in a bit of equipment that will be helpful for this particular fight is Shadowheart. She's got Hellrider's Pride, the Whispering Promise, and Boots of Aid and Comfort, which all kind of buff the target of her healing spells. She's also got Zionide, so if she gets into melee, there is a chance to inflict Fairy Fire onto the Bulette. Otherwise, I've got a Rogue here who could be in place of Astarium. My fighter is a dexterity-based fighter, so not really a replacement for Lazel. And she's an Eldritch Knight. Honestly, I'd probably prefer Battle Master in this fight massively, because using Menacing Attack is very, very strong. I'm also not going to try and use too many consumables. I've got a whole bunch here I can use. Ones that would be of interest. Potion of Acid Resistance would help. Potions of Speed, Healing Potions, Potion of Sleep. I might show you what you can do with that. And maybe Potions of Heal Giant Strength, perhaps, for any many characters. Um, but I'm going to try and not use them too much. Maybe Healing Potions if needed. So what will happen, as you come to one of the couple of areas where you might find the bullet, the ground will start shaking. Don't do anything. And the game will pause. Now, I've got to admit, right now, I've been very lucky. And neither of these two were knocked prone. At this point, this is the game telling you, prepare yourself. Something's about to happen. And you can prepare yourself in a couple of ways. The most important way is to spread your party out. The Bullet has a two area of effect attacks. One is like a leaping attack and one is, uh, I don't know the official name for it, but it spits some acid at you. Uh, before I do that though, I might get Shadowheart to cast Bless. No, I'm going to use level two Bless. Stuff it. Let's get everyone blessed. This is an important fight. To move her away. Jubilette's going to come out somewhere around here and will target one of your characters normally. Will just needs to stand back and out of the way. He doesn't have much to prepare. He's already got his familiar out. Yeah, there's nothing here. I mean, if I wanted to take a consumable, now would be the time. It's quite difficult in this area to spread everyone out. It's quite likely you're going to get two people attacked. Try and stay away from the edges as well. Yeah, easier said than done. So I'm going to come over this way. Just move Shadowheart further up. It might put her in danger. We'll see. Now, he is an arcane trickster. I uh, don't think there are any good spells to cast ahead of time. Once you use consumables, I've got the spider egg sack. That could help you out as well. Mage hand can help, but it's going to be invisible. It's going to be a bit annoying. And no, I'm just going to hide him just in case it helps and works. I've got a drow here. It doesn't matter that they are a fighter. What will help is dancing lights. Otherwise, the bullet will sometimes be shrouded in darkness. Put it somewhere in the middle. You could put it almost anywhere. Like The dancing lights lights up quite a large area. And once you're ready, end your turn. The bullet will jump out. Yeah, it went after the fighter. And it will do a lot of damage there. Look, uh, one thing I could have done instead of Dancing Lights is perhaps have used Blade Ward. That would have been a very good choice. So the Bulette did two lots of damage. And at this point, you want to be probably debuffing the Bulette as much as possible. Now, as a Drow, I've got Fairy Fire. The chances of this working are only 40%. But this is the sort of battle where you want to be attempting this. There we are, it works. Now we don't even need to have any dancing lights because everybody will be able to see the bullet. Now my fighter also has the gloves of power. Now I don't want to um, move away. I don't want to take any opportunity attack. There we are. Inflict Bane. 
And since it is the Bulette's turn, the Bulette does jump around quite a lot. I'm actually going to use Blade Ward to make sure you go back to melee weapons just in case it provokes an opportunity attack. Just like that. So it will use its Deadly Leap. Who's it going for? That's why I was trying to say keep people away from the edges. But now it's our turn. This is where things go badly normally for the Bulette. Best thing you can do is use something like Command Halt or Frighten the Bulet so that it will just waste its turn. It's five turns and I've noticed that the uh, Rogue has lost his turn. It's a bit annoying. And Will is having a few problems down there. Yeah, let's not use the items. I'm going to try and do this as if you don't have many magic items because I don't know what you'll have. I'm going to leave him down there because if he comes straight back up, he might get hit again immediately. Let's see, 75% chance to work. That's pretty good. And it doesn't seem to be concentration. It passed its saving throw. Bit annoying. But let's use... Oh, no, she doesn't need it. Let's use it on the Eldritch Knight. And raise her up. Again, trying to keep everyone spread out. And the Imp can just do his Impy thing and just attack. Before we go any further, I do want to point out that doing anything that attacks the strength or constitution modifiers is not going to work out very well. Wisdom is okay. Charisma is the best. Oh, no. Intelligence would be the best. Charisma would be good as well. But there aren't too many spells that target those. So back to the Eldritch Knight. Now, they are an Eldritch Knight, and then I give them Chromatic Orb. Using Acid is good, not because it... Ah, oh, this might not be so good right now, because it's probably going to move away. So even if it misses like that, it will still have its armor class reduced, because it's standing in the Acid. Oh, outside normal range, let's get a bit closer. We have a 91% chance to hit. Try and stand back. It's going to jump for a little steady leap. This guy, and a bite. My rogue actually gets to have a, an attack. So I would say it's probably a good idea maybe to use poison. If you want to use a wife and poison, go ahead. No problems. I'm not going to assume you've got any though. So we're going to use the basic poison and just go for a sneak attack. There we are. Hit quite nicely. The imp's still surviving. It's going to have a go. Shadowheart is going to keep on using, attempting to use this. Because if it works, it can't take any attacks. And now we've got almost two rounds in a row deal with this thing all right get up the rocks there will like i said earlier if you've got something that will frighten them such as the me uh, menacing attack battle master maneuver that's even better than what i've just done now all right will get going hopefully you've given will scorching ray only warlock because that's the sort of thing we can do it's used up both the spell slots but this is one of the harder fights so i'd say it's definitely worth it let's just double check everybody's used everything they can she's still got a bonus action i'm going to save a spell slot i'm not going to use it up will here is fine over to the eldritch knight who's really far away but they have actually got crusher's ring i assume somebody could be using the sapphire spark the necklace this would be a perfect time to use it Ooh, get a bit closer however i'm going to go with acid again there's some damage, but more importantly, it's now even easier to hit the bullet. He says, but it misses. Unfortunately, if you don't do enough damage, it will run away. If you don't kill it first time. So I'm going to go to the second position where it appears, but it hasn't. So let's take a short rest. I'm a bit worried about Shadowheart, actually. She's only got two spell slots left. So I'm going to do go to the Myconid colony. Head. Which way is this? Head towards the south exit. Uh, before we do that, Will, you can heal up. May as well get to max and then also get another Ooh, actually i say that get the quasi out and let's get going again so if you head out the south exit from the myconid colony and you come across this small gap which everyone can jump across no problem we'll find the bullet comes along again and there's that warning again Ooh, they're quite far away which could be a good thing yeah i'm gonna send the eldritch knight oh no she's walked into the rumbling that's my fault don't do what i just did and again just spread out try and stay away from the edges i'm hoping if he gets knocked back some of the terrain here will block him from being pushed off the side shadow heart you're not going to be so lucky you just hide there we'll just make sure you're across and ready i'm hoping the bullet can't jump all the way over here and the quasit you get across I'm hoping it doesn't die now, I don't know where the bullet's going to end up, so I can't, I shouldn't use Invoke Duplicity, otherwise it would be a good choice. Since she's not concentrating on anything right now, resistance is fine because we can sometimes get strength saving throws not to be, or dexterity saving throws, not to be knocked prone. See what happens. Oof, didn't work anyway. All right, interestingly, it is now level minus one. I have never come across this before. Doesn't have any hit points, so we will attempt. This is a bit strange, it's been hexed. Right, let's just see what happens. Let's hide. Eldritch Blast. 
Ah, right, okay. It's actually got its full hit points. Fair enough. Now, both these times, the bullet has gone, the bullet has gone very early. So no one can be telling me, like, oh, you've got high initiative, which has happened to me too many times before. That's why we might want acid resistance. Oh, oh, I might be knocking someone off. Yeah. I've never been that lucky in this game before. I did not plan for him to land on this little mushroom here. But now it's our chance to fight back. There's no difference between level 1 or level 2 command halt, just uses a different spell slot. Since I have the opportunity to... Oh, that was a mistake. 60% chance to hit. Let's see if I can actually get some high ground bonus. Yeah. I always tempt the offhand attack first, in case I can use my main hand attack for something else, like critically missing. I'm trying to get Bane on it. Oh well, didn't work. That's fine. There we are. So it should hopefully be safe. Don't know if this guy's going to be able to get back up. I can still shoot at <laughs> Just seeing, uh, yeah, I'm not going to use any of my uh, other things there. The Quasi is not going to try and scare it yet because it, it's not going to take any actions. It's not going to move. So I'm just going to go for an attack. Yeah, you never know when that's going to work out for you. Let's take a potion. She blesses herself. <laughs> right, what am I going to do with you? Uh, I don't have any way to jump. Well, I can hide. We should nullify some disadvantage. But the chance is still not great. Yeah, still hits. Alright, then to Will, who is also going to be doing, hopefully, lots of damage. To be let should hopefully do nothing, because of command. And then we can pretty much just wail on this thing and kill it. But just in case it doesn't work. Okay, it didn't work, that's fine. But it's always definitely the best thing to try and do first. I may as well use this brain, this braced weapon ability. Uh, yeah, it didn't hit, didn't mind. So, Shadow Heart. Mm, we haven't got a great chance to hit. Let's just check chance of guarding bot. 50%, we can hide. Give ourselves advantage on that. So, what I think I'm going to do with Shadow Heart is actually use her Invoke Duplicity to give everybody else advantage on their attack. It does mean I need to move this it closer. There we are. Ah, it's too close. Never mind. Right, let's switch to melee weapon. And if I was going to win with the Sapphire Spark, I would just use Magic Missile. Uh, I think I can just attack. Oh, inflict Bane as well. And I may as well take an offhand attack since I'm not going to do anything else with it. I made a bit of a mistake. I could have got the Eldritch Knight to cast Sleep at this point. Anyway, now it's up to Will. Poor Will takes his turn. If you made it this far, please do consider subscribing. So if you are happy using a Potion of Sleep, let's give that to Will. You can use this at any point. The best time to use this is on the character just before the Bulette's turn. You can throw a Potion of Sleep, and it doesn't matter what the hit points are, it will just knock them to sleep. So at this point, with Invoke Duplicity up, make sure you get close enough to give Will advantage on the attacks. I'd highly suggest using Scorching Ray. I know it's only 7 hit points, but you never know when 1, 2, or 3 of these will miss. And we've taken it out. Now there is some sort of graphical bug. It still says the bullet is highlighted, I suppose, selected. Time for the spoils. On the bullet, you will find the slippery chain shirt. When the wearer heals a creature, it automatically disengages and won't trigger opportunity attacks. This is best given to someone who will be healing. So presumably Shadowheart or any druid or cleric you have made. Let me know how you deal with the bullet. How many times you've died to it. Any cheese that you use to get rid of it. Thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.